Uh, welcome to our first video in our VATSIM tutorial series. Uh, and in this series, we're going to be answering, I'm going to be answering some questions that uh, I get asked a lot on Discord uh, how to start a VATSIM, uh, what to say, what to do, um, as it's quite a common thing. We Everyone loves VATSIM, so uh, <laughs> well, I'll try and explain in this series what to do. For this series, I'll be uh, doing IFR in the Flavoire A320 Neo. As uh, currently, that is the probably the best aircraft, in my opinion, for VATSIM. Uh, we'll be in England, which does mean we'll be ICAO uh, rules. So for people in the US watching, things will be slightly different for you. But um, hopefully no nothing too different. Uh, I'll be covering a new, I'll be doing a new video covering uh, some of the differences. So as you can see, we're on the ground at Manchester. Uh, I have the Maco Simulations Manchester installed, um, which means VAT simming is much easier as we have correct stand signs, taxiway markings um, for the airport. And it's removed that building from the taxiway, which <laughs> is really quite important. Uh, links for this will be in the description. So I'm just going to talk through some of the stuff you want to do first. Uh, you want to head to VATSIM, um, the VATSIM website. You can just Google it immediately and it'll come up. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, and you want to make sure your name is... You put all the details that will ask for when you create an account. Uh, you want to put in your name and make sure it's your real name. That's spelt properly. Uh, VATSIM. Um, have a policy which means you you need to put your correct uh, d details in. Then you want to go to the Pilot Learning Center, do the orientation course, which gives you a basic understanding of VATSIM. Take the short multiple uh, question quiz, it's about 10 questions long, uh, looking at procedures on VATSIM, um, which, you need to be able to, which you need to have passed to be able to connect to the network. Then what you want to do is navigate your way to the Pilot Resource Center once you've completed that test. Um, follow the links that um, are given uh, and then you want to download it. And once you've downloaded it, you'll be greeted with vPilot. Uh, I forgot to mention that you just want to extract the folders to somewhere you know and you can keep safe because you will be coming back to your vPilot files if you ever want to do anything such as model matchmaking. So here we are. Uh, once you're greeted, you want to head to your settings tab by literally hitting settings up here. Once in, you'll have to put in your details. I'm not going to do that just as uh, it's my details. Make your notifications. I have show incoming text in simulator. This means if you've seen our streams, we have a big tip message bar come up telling us um, what's going on. We want to make sure we have that. Then you want to go through, make sure your audio is all set up properly. You push to talk if you have a, a side stick of some sorts. I recommend setting it to the trigger as your push to talk button. That's what I have. Model matchmaking, uh, we can leave that for now. Performance, if you have a good PC, uh, I recommend boosting the range somewhat. Um, but for me, I'm going to leave it. Updates, leave it the same as you found it. Miscellaneous, you want to make sure you tick automatically squawk mode C on takeoff. Uh, trust me, it's a pain if you have to do it manually. I highly recommend doing it this way. So if you're then happy with your settings, just hit OK. And you're good to go. Then what you want to do is hit Connect. And we'll be greeted by this window here. Now, e every airline has a three-letter uh, code before it uh, that, the, that represents the airline um, for the, for, for on radio comms. Now, a to give you an example of one, uh, EasyJet have EZY, we can see here. Um, British Airways have Bravo Alpha Whiskey, uh, and they are, that's not necessarily what you say on frequency. So for Easy EasyJet, you say Easy. Um, for British Airways, you say Speedbird. It's quite a famous one, uh, and it changes for each one. But um, if you want to find out more, you can go onto the website. Uh, there's quite a few websites out there. Uh, Airline Codes is one. I find that very helpful. I'll uh, link to that in the description. But if you just Google one. You can find it there, and it's uh, they're really good. Once so you have your three-letter code, you then just want to add maybe a three or four-letter and uh, number sequence after it. So for me, I have three five Papa Kilo from an EasyJet. If I'm a BA, I put uh, maybe four five five. Um, it's something that's easy to say, not too long. So I, you don't have to have three or four, but um, it keeps it nice and simple for you and the controllers. Uh, making your radio com communications uh, can be much slicker and smoother uh, and that's a great way just to easily get some points on that. 
next thing you want to do is make sure you have your type code correctly. Now, if you're like me and you're flying the A320, you want to put A20N. Now, this lets the controllers know what aircraft you're in. Uh, of course, if you're in, let's say, a 747, um, you type 747. Now, the regular rule with this is you type your aircraft and then the dash. So, if I was in the simulator, uh, I'd be an intercontinental, but what I recommend is you just type, then type 8. Or, sorry, what is it? You can you can see here, we can see here we've got 200, 300, 8, dash 8 would be the next one, so just put 7478, 7478. Um, so as in A350, I put A. Oh, that keeps doing that, sorry. A35 uh, to say, in, and then we put 9 as for the XWB say. Um, and that's the sort of thing you want to do. Now we want to type A20N for Airbus. A320 Neo. Now we've done that, uh, we can hit connect. There we go, we've greeted with this sort of load up system here. So we're connected to the voice server, give it a minute for the traffic to load in. Let's just move vPilot over here. We have a look at vPilot, actually, you can see that we start to see the controllers come in. There you go, you might be able to hear we've got the aircraft engine noise. That means someone's around us. You can see more. It's loaded in, and there we go. We're connected to the network now. Because if we have a look around here, we can see an EasyJet. Probably fell out like there. An EasyJet has just spawned next to me. So we are now connected to the network properly. So, next thing we want to do is let the controllers know where we're going to be going. Now, to do this, we need to file a flight plan. So, if I show you my sim brief. I have just generated a SimBrief flight plan using SimBrief. If you want to know how to do this, check out my other tutorial. Um, links. Uh, check out the other tutorial. It's on the, it's on the channel. You should be able to find that. So once you've done this, you can see we've got the correct routing. I'm going up to Belfast City today, a nice short flight. Uh, and what we want to do is scroll down to the bottom, right down to the bottom, and we can see here we said V Pilot, and you want to hit download. Once you download, that'll just download a file. Uh, and you should be able to find it here, it will appear here. Now you can just leave that, that will go into your download section uh, in your file explorer. You can just leave that um, as there's not really a problem. So we'll go with that. We can now uh, just close this. So back on vPilot, we want to head to flight plan. Load up the flight plan here, we want to hit load. And then you want to select the uh, flight plan you downloaded, so if we just double click here. We well, can see the information has all been inputted. You might have seen it was already there. <laughs> I've already loaded it up, but um, what you'll find is all the information gets loaded up for you. Um, there's no need to have to fill it in manually. So now we want to hit uh, File Flight Plan. Pow! The flight plan has now been filed. The controllers will now see where we're going. Um, so that's now all ready to go. What you then want to do is minimise your uh, VPI. Actually, sorry leave the vpilot window open and we'll just open the flight deck. So looking at the center pedestal here we can see the radio stack uh, and the FMC. Now the radio stack is what we first want to do. So Vatsim has a top-down policy which means if you've got a center online and you're on the ground he will control you. Um, but we have a ground online at Manchester uh, and we can see we've got the little if we hover over we see their name but we've got what they are and their frequency. So this is 121850 for Manchester Ground. So we go here into the frequencies. We go, I use the scroll wheel on my mouse to change it to 121850. And then you see this is standby and this is active. You want to hit the arrow to flick it and there we go. We now have 121850 in our active frequency. So we can see here we've just hopped back outside getting ready to ask for clearance. Now the first thing we want to do we want to. We can. I. I will put this in the description. And this is uh, basically a modal, uh, model sort of clearance of how you want to ask. So you want to say call sign. So in this case, we're easy three five pub kilo. So it'll be easy three five pub kilo. Requesting IFR clearance to Belfast City. That's where we're going. Uh, we are an A three twenty Neo uh, on stand eight. We have current information Foxtrot. And now we can try to feed Foxtrot by double clicking on the ATIS. Uh, and we can see here at the top it says Info F. 
Uh, I have put a little note in case you forget in this. But what you want to do is just, if you want to delete this, so that you're just left with this current information, and you just put your current information in. That is all you want to say, uh, and you'll just say that on frequency. And the controller will then read you back something such as easy three five pack a kilo. You're cleared to Belfast City on the Eclad departure. You'll probably say Eclad one Romeo um, departure. Um, Squawk three three two two. That that squawk could be any sort of number combination. Um, but what I recommend is just opening up a notepad like this. All I do is type Eclad what? Oh, apologies, let's see that. Eclad one Romeo um, three three five nine. As he said it, I just write that down. And all you want to do then read back is just three three five kilo. Uh, we're cleared to Belfast City. Xlad one Romeo departure, Squawk 3359. That'll be it. I will make a paragraph for it in the description so that you can copy it. Uh, I recommend saving it in a notepad um, and you can just use it out. If you're like me though, I use a notepad, pen and paper with me and I just scribble the notes down. Um, but for your first getting started, I will put you a requesting one and a asking one in the description. So, let's call up for clearance here. So we've just gone through it, uh, and all you're going to do is say exactly that. So, here we go. Ground, easy, three, five, pack, kilo. Uh, requesting IFR clearance to Belfast City. Uh, we are an A320 near on stand eight and have information foxtrot. Easy, three, five, pack, kilo, stand by. Stand by, easy, three, five, pack, kilo. So what we're going to do is just Easy acknowledge what he's just told us. Clear to Belfast City, Eclad 1 Romeo off uh, 23 White, Squawk 0304, uh, Easy 35 kilo. Easy three five path a key lost crest. Yep. So all he's gonna do is after I've made my clearance, uh, he's just gonna acknowledge that I've done it correctly, say correct. So next thing you want to do is you wanna hop in the cockpit um after you've written down the information he's just said and done that. So back in the cockpit, he's just told us to squawk zero three zero four. So we wanna head over here to the right hand side of the pedestal. Uh, this is where the squawk is kept. So what you want to do is you just want to hit clear twice, and that gets rid of it. You want to type in what you were just told. So we were told zero, three, zero, four. We put that in. You want to make sure you take your T T cast thing T A T A there on the middle there, and you're now squawking correctly. If we head over to the FMC. I have done an FMC uh, programming tutorial, but to make it to, uh, just for this help now, I'll just show you what to do. You click on where you're going from. You click departure. He told us runway 23 right, Eclad 1 Romeo, that's there. And there we go, we just hit insert. Make sure you do your performance page, of course, but that's now ready to go. We've got our clearance, um, and so we're now ready to go, wise, and ready to ask for pushback. Of course, you want to make sure your AD is aligned, um, and you're all ready to go. So there we go, getting clearance is as simple as that. It's quite a short little video today. Um, I will be doing another one in a bit of uh, lessons to push back in taxi and how to start, uh, how to get taxi, what it, what is it. It's a bit more complicated than uh, getting clearance. But uh, getting clearance is as simple as that. So um, if you ever want to join me on my next streams, uh, you can come join me. We'll probably fly out from Manchester on our next stream. But, um, please leave a like and a comment if you have any questions. Uh, I'll try to explain everything in the description below. But if you do have any further questions, please do let me know in the comments. Uh, I'll try and respond to as many as possible. I uh, hope you enjoyed this kind of video. Um, as I say, please leave a like uh, and subscribe if you like this. Uh, we'll try and roll out some more. Everyone have a good one. See ya.